Hey coaches, welcome back to CoachParker.org. Uh, thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to talk about another youth football drill uh, in our youth football drill series. And today we're going to talk about the game simulation uh, walkthrough drill. Uh, I really love this drill, especially early in the season, but really any time you're having some issues with just confusion of your players calling plays or on your defense or special teams, and um, when I'm in a league where I have three practices, this is usually my uh, last practice, uh, the last part of the 45 minutes uh, before uh, each game week. And I uh, love to go through this. And uh, so let's talk about how it works. So, you know, a lot of you guys do walkthroughs, but I, I kind of up my game a little bit in this game simulation walkthrough. And I really make it kind of like we're playing a game, an actual game on Saturday, and we go through this whole thing. And what we're we're really wanting to get perfect walkthroughs um, in a game day tile situation. And so what we do is we make sure you know are we home or visitor for the week. We get our captains chosen for the game, uh, and then we actually. Uh, uh, the offensive coach is usually on the sideline. I usually run it as a ref in the middle. And then we have two other coaches that are helping uh, ref uh, and look at alignments and things like that. We can talk about that in a minute. But uh, I call the player, the captains, out to the field. One of the coaches acts as the opposing uh, team players. We actually flip the coin. We go through the whole thing. Uh, we ask them which side they want to kick to, just so everybody knows what's going on. Uh, we've got coaches and players on a sideline, you know, and the captains came out to the middle of the field. Uh, like I said, we get two coaches that act as referees. We usually run it either on a 50-yard field or a 100-yard field, whatever you have space for. We go through an offense, defense, and special team simulation. And so just real quickly, uh, offense, we have a 10-play max. So basically the ball usually start on the 20. They got 10 plays to get into the end zone, the other end zone. And we're looking for sideline communication um, to the huddle between, you know, the risk coach or the quarterbacks or however the offensive coach is doing it. What did the huddle look like? There's usually a coach back there at the huddle. Is a quarterback communicating are the players talking too much in the huddle uh, how does the huddle break then the alignments and splits and stances does that all look good is there any confusion or mistakes or poor fakes by the running backs is what's going on there are they taking too much time any bad snap or fumbles uh, we're looking for all of this to decide whether there's a penalty or the play is going to get some yardage Defense, I usually do six plays. You know, I'll make a call for the for the front, the formation front, a stunt or a blitz. I'm looking for proper alignments, assignments, and keys, and they can tell me all of this. We snap the ball and do a snap count. Did they jump off sides? I'll usually ask one or two questions on the play as far as assignments and what ifs if they do this. And then, you know, once we do snap the ball, we'll, we'll see if they're, they're making proper rushes. Are they on good track? Did they drop in zone like we told them to do? How's that all working? And, of course, we'll go through special teams the same way. We'll kick off. We'll do a kick return. If we've got a field goal unit, we'll do that. Uh, PAT kick, we'll do that if we've got it. And then we do a punt and punt return. So it really is, you know, and it can take up the full 45 minutes to an hour. And it really depends on what you've got, you've got going on there. And I'll try to you know time it. If I've got the full hour, uh, each 15 minutes is a quarter. We'll actually have it half time. We'll switch sides of the fields at the quarters. So uh, we want the kids, and this is great, especially for younger kids to do this weekly. But definitely the first couple of weeks of practice is start simulating before your first game how the game's going to work. Because usually when we do this consistently, we walk into our first game and we're not having a lot of the hiccups that other teams are having in their first game. Um, and so older kids, you don't need to do this as much as the season progresses. 
But like I said, when I when I have in a league and I have three days, uh, instead of just doing walk on some three days of practices, instead of just doing you know quickie walkthroughs on my third day, we actually do the game simulation walkthrough. So let's get to the next slide here. So on the on the offense, we we're trying to do perfect plays, and like I said, there's a ten play max. So and and this is stuff I have in my head, and you guys can certainly don't have to run exactly how I'm doing this. So, and and I don't do this all the time. I'll kind of guesstimate what I what I want here, but this is kind of an idea of how the the process works. So any mistake on one of the offensive plays is a penalty, and I've got a flag and a whistle, and I throw it. And it's a five yard loss. Boom. Just any little mistake, and you can get. Harder and harder as the season progresses, or you can you can be loose if you're trying to get through plays quick on offense instead of making all these these uh, these penalties. But if the the stricter you are, the better your players get. Uh, if they actually get down and score, it's six point a PAT. Uh, you know we actually you know do you want to go for one or two? If there's kicking for a PAT, it's two. So the way I kind of do it, if it was an in, it was a it was an inside play, it's five yards, and the backs have to run, and the blockers have to make their blocks, and then you know, and we tell them to do it for at least ten yards, and the runners not supposed to stop, uh, fakes and everything, and blocking to ten, runners not supposed to stop. But a dive run is about five, a sweep for a good place ten, a short pass is the where it's the spot plus five yards. Reverse encounter is about 15. A long catch, uh, sometimes I'll give it a touchdown, sometimes I'll give it the spot plus 10 yards. And so I keep this in my head. You don't have to have this little score sheet. But I kind of do this in my head, and, and we get down the field that way. The defense, how that works, uh, they've got six plays to hold the team. If there's three mistakes within those six, it's seven points for the other team, and that's how the other team can score. Uh, we're... Uh, if there's a mistake-free play, it's a five-yard loss, and so it, it, it kind of helps there. Uh, and you can adjust that as you, as you need that. So we're looking, you know, you know like I said before, if the defense uh, lined up properly, and I go through all these questions, and I'll set them up, and we look for things on the defense. Defense is not as hard as the offense. Uh, but we do like to move in, in and out of our stunts and blitzes and ask questions on key assignments and reads and, and get through that. Special teams, what you're looking for there is, you know, it's a mistake-free kickoff. Uh, if there's a mistake uh, on the kickoff, it's seven points for the other team. And I tell we directional kick toward a sideline, our particular sideline, unless I've called something else. So... Basically, it's seven points if they kick the ball down the middle of the field. That we just don't want that. If it's between the hashes in the middle of the field, the other team scores seven points. Uh, as far as the kick return, uh, if it's a muffed kick return uh, and the, the player drops it or misses it, it's uh, seven points for the other team. Uh, if it's a good kick, it's at the 35. A mistake-free punt is on the spot. Any muffed or bad punt, it's three points for the other team. And then a punt return, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, uh, the ball's on the 50, or it's a three-point if they drop the punt. So you can make up your own kind of how you do it. But you can kind of see what's going on here. The key, though, as you're getting it, is, is you're looking for mistakes. You're throwing a penalty. If it's a good play, you're giving them some yardage. That's really simple if you just want to get down to that basic tone of it. Uh, and so we start out, like you see, we've got, you know, all the sideline guys up here. Uh, let me get a pen out here. Uh, bear with me as I get my, my pen here. And a lot of folks ask me, ask me I'm using PowerPoint uh, presentation uh, software. Here's our sideline. You can see all our little red guys. This is actually supposed to be red. He's kind of orange there. We come out, we do the coin toss, and then it's either a kickoff or a kick return. And uh, we go through that simulation, and then we go right into offense here. And, um, 
I've got a little animation here so you can watch. There it goes. I finally got to take it off. Sorry about that. There's the animation. You can see how they progress down the field. If they're doing good plays, they got a penalty there. They must have thrown a pass or a sweep, and then they score right here. And then there'll be either a uh, PAT or we sometimes will punt and uh, from the offense and see how that works out there. Um, and then the defense, what we're looking at here is we've got uh, just the quick alignments, making sure that's all aligned up, and then we'll do a punt return. And the thing on our punt return, we don't want anybody getting the ball except for our uh, punt returner back there. And so we've got him back here. And uh, he'll set up. But if anybody else touches the ball but the punt returner, that's a muff punt kind of thing. And so, uh, yeah, so we're just going the simulation down the field, back and down the field. Like I said, for 15-minute uh, quarters each, we do have a halftime. And you're really wanting to set it up just like you would in a game. So you really want it to be like a game. I mean, I don't know if I made myself clear earlier. So it's just like a game simulation. So as the game starts, after you've done the coin toss, uh, you're either going to kick off or kick return. So say if you uh, get the kick return, you'll catch it. If you don't muff it, you'll get the ball 35. Offense, is, offense will take over for 10 plays. They're going to try to score. If they don't score, defense will take over from wherever they left off. They'll go through that, and then often if there's a punt, offense will get the ball back. Let's say they go down and score, they'll do an extra point, and then they'll pee, then then they'll kick off, and then the off, uh, then they'll be on defense. Defense will hold it, then offense will come back. So you're really going through just like it really was a game, and then you're also. As you know, you're doing this, you're getting an idea of how your kids are coming in and switching from offense and defense and if there's confusion there and also how you're subbing kids in and don't forget to, you know, sub your minimum play players and who's calling plays and, and uh, you know, don't have a coach in the huddle coordinating all that you should be doing that from the sidelines a couple of things that we have found out from the simulations is sometimes our risk coaches are different from what the quarterback has versus what your coach has we were able to catch that so those are some little things that, that you can work on again with hand signals from the sidelines and all that communication but you're really wanting to, to make it look make it look and act like a game I mean, that's, that's the key. You're wanting to put the pressure on the kids to make a perfect play and that they're going to get penalties if there's mistakes. And uh, uh, if they make a good play, they get yardage. And I tell you, it's really helped us going through that. Uh, and we definitely do that uh, during our first two games of season for older teams. And for real young teams, we, we try to do that once a week. Uh, in the practice right before our weekly game. So I hope you guys like this drill. Uh, if you did, please leave uh, a like, thumbs up below. If you didn't like it or if you got some questions or want to make a comment, please leave those in the comments below. If you think this uh, drill would be great for some other coach or a friend of yours, please share the drill with your coaches, uh, on your staff or your friend. Uh, if you would like to subscribe to my channel, please hit the red button below and you'll get email updates on when I post new videos. I'm trying to do two a week at least. If you'd like to support me, you can shop my store. I get a percentage of sales. There's a link below. Uh, or you can buy, two, two, buy one of my two books that I've got out right now. I've got a book on defense playbook and an offensive playbook. Uh, you can get those over at coachparker.org or the link below. And if you so choose, you can actually hit the donate button here and leave me a few few dollars. But, uh, yeah, this is Coach Parker with coachparker.org. I hope you enjoyed the game simulation walkthrough drill. It's one of my favorite youth football drills, and it's worth every penny to run it, especially at the beginning of the season. Uh, if you've got any questions, please leave those again in the comments. Again, it's Coach Parker with coachparker.org. Hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks for joining me. And remember, play for fun. And winning is funner. Ciao.